So one of the flyers in the cafeteria, there's a little flyer on one of the napkin holders. Um, I looked at it, I thought it might be a little bit interesting. Uh, my fiance kind of talked me into applying for it. A few months later, get a letter back, go in for an interview, and here I am. A couple of my uh, mentors, I guess you would say, like Judy from Student Support Services, uh, Margie Flanagan from Academic Success Center, a couple of people I've worked with told me I should apply, and I was hesitant, and then I got a letter saying that Dr. Rigger from the English department um, requested me or nominated me to be a McNair Scholar and I thought well if he thinks I'm good enough then maybe I should do this and then I just went through the application process not thinking that I would get in actually because I'm only a sophomore or was a sophomore last semester and then I did get in. I found out through letters in the mail um, act asking me to become a part of McNair. Uh, teachers would come up to me being like hey I got you're on my letters saying that they want you to become a part of McNair. Vicki stopped me and asked me to, hey, are you going to apply for McNair? Uh, after enough bugging, I guess you could say, I decided to apply. And I'm glad I did because I uh, was accepted and become a part of it. And they've become practically a second family. So it's been amazing. When I first got started, I thought it all seemed very overwhelming. And my mentor said, I just hate to th see you throw a gift away. You've been given a gift and I hate to see you throw that away. And when he said that, that just pushed me over to, I've got to at least try this. I actually got a uh, recommendation from one of my literature teachers, which was kind of surprising because that was one of my weaker subjects. And I talked to my boss about it a little bit and she kind of pushed me in that direction. I saw a recruitment table for McNair that was, I had uh, Lisa and Vicki were there and uh, they told me a little bit about what the McNair program was for and that it involved um, getting uh, students into graduate school and I told them that was something that I was interested in. So uh, yeah, and I filled an application and that was it. I would recommend it without reservation, but uh, before you go into the program you need to be willing to uh, evaluate your, uh, your time schedule, you know, what you can allot to the program uh, because that's vital, that's crucial, to be able to, uh, to put the time into the research to make sure it's beneficial for you and something that you can accomplish. You really don't realize what goes into trying to get into graduate school until you get in here, get the experience and see what's going on. You're researching and you're researching until you finally exhausted the subject before you even get to start making your research proposal and collecting data. Um, I mean, I think it's a good experience for everyone who wants to do it because it's what you're going to do in graduate school if that's what you plan on doing. So, I mean, even if it's something you're not, like, good at, it's something that is definitely worth the practice. We got GRE training, we got our very own GRE study guide, we get a year's worth of research experience with a faculty advisor in our field, we get a research stipend to actually do research with. I mean, those are just a few of the benefits. I took the option of going to another school and doing a summer internship there and I went to Virginia Tech and I spent 10 weeks there working on a research project with a faculty member there and uh, now I'm back here and I'm writing it up. When you're doing your project over the summer you get to see other fields not just psychology. So we had people in sociology, in the sciences, things that I wouldn't have had an interest in but that I got to see a glimpse of. It's going to let you get some research experience under your belt, which that's what grad schools are going to be looking for. It's a tough program, but it is very, very rewarding. I mean, lots and lots of free stuff, plus graduate school applications are paid for, which is a huge bonus. So now I can apply to eight or nine programs as opposed to three. We do get waivers for uh, our application process. and. Um, and then we also get that $2,800 stipends if for finishing our project. Um, overall, it's an excellent program. Um, the stipend is just a bonus. So it's nice to have the facility there to be able to go and you know, to print and copy and to use their computer lab and all those things too. So. I have never picked up a phone and called and asked a question that somebody couldn't answer right off the bat or find me the answer shortly. Oh, the staff's great. They're a blast. They kind of make it seem worthwhile even whenever everything else is starting to hammer down and you're bogged down and 
Stuff's getting stressful. They provide a lot of moral support, which is a big deal sometimes. They've always been very helpful and making sure that um, I, I know what I need to do and uh, what, uh, what paperwork I need to do to stay current. And uh, they're always letting me know about upcoming opportunities uh, to visit graduate schools. The staff are amazing. The friends you meet are amazing. The networking is incredible. This has to be like the most supportive group of people I have ever met, starting from my mentor to the office to the other students that are in it. You know, they, they've always been very willing to help. Uh, some of the questions I ask, of course, they didn't know what the answers were, but uh, would always be willing to dig around and to, uh, and to not quit until we had a satisfactory answer one way or another. So, so that's always been really good. When I first started McNair, I had no idea what graduate schools I wanted to go to, what they required, anything like that. Um, during the five-week internship during the summer, um, Doug and Dr. Klein did most of the workshops. Um, they prepared us really well for what to expect by showing us slideshows, um, taking us to different schools. Um, I now know a little bit more of what I need to when apply, how to apply, what to look for. I think one of the biggest perks is getting to go see those graduate schools. A lot of people don't know what's out there and going to visit is like one of the number one things you can do to learn about a campus. Um, most of the schools would take us and break us up into our departments with a professor who actually knew about the field or the division that we were going into. And we got to tour, like my field was psychology, and I actually got to go into the psychology department of the school and talk with their director of psychology and talk about the different programs that they offered, which one would fit best, explore the laboratories, explore the classrooms, and then some of them even gave us the curriculum and the coursework that we would go through, progression sheets to look at. So they're very helpful. The schools you visit are priceless. If you're interested in any of the schools, definitely do your internship. It's, it's wonderful. Check into it. What do you have to lose? Um, you know, I really do think the benefits of the program way outweigh um, any struggles that you might have getting through it and I remind myself of that. It's an excellent program. It's an opportunity not to pass up. Uh, I almost did and I would have regretted it. Um, it's hard work, yes, but it's well worth it in the long run. If you're planning on going to graduate school, this is an excellent program to get into. Just it's a great experience and I'm really glad I got the chance to do it. Go for it, apply. I mean the worst thing you can do is not get in, apply the next year, keep going after it. The, the experience is priceless. I mean there's nothing I would trade for my experience and what they've taught me and given me for this program. Hello, I'm Dr. Rodney Klein, the director of the McNair Scholars Program here at Concord University. However, not only does our program serve the students here at Concord, we also serve the students at Bluefield State College and West Virginia State University. The McNair Scholars Program is a federally funded program whose goal is to assist eligible students who want to go on to graduate school to achieve those goals. The primary focus while in the program is to complete a faculty-assisted research project. This research project is oftentimes the launching point to their academic career. In addition, we offer a summer internship which provides workshops for various aspects of the research process. So, if you're a sophomore or a junior interested in going on to graduate school, please stop by the McNair Scholars Office to see how we can help you achieve your academic goals. Thank you.